आह मेरे साथ जो शख्स बैठे हैं किसी परिचय के मोहताज नहीं है दुनिया में इकलौते शख्स हैं जिन्होंने दो बार टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप जीता है तो वर्ल्ड कप जीतने के बारे में इनसे बेहतर कोई नहीं जाता है ट I think credit must go to my team. Mm. You know the team that I had uh, in 2012 and 2016. You know um, we had really good T20 players. In fact, great T20 players, full of experience, uh, and they they performed. So my job as a captain was quite easy. Everybody understood and knew their role, and went out there to execute it to to perfection. So I will credit my 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 players for that. So, do you think since 2012 and 2016 time, the T20 international has changed dr drastically, or is it remain the same? I think um, a few teams have copied the way we played and and, and remodeled it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because if you have an app, you have to keep updating the app. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think uh, mm -hmm. they've copied some of our models, mm -hmm. and but uh, fine tune it like the uh, England, the way they play, mm -hmm. um, and they've. Why is probably we as a as as a team have um, stuck to that same model, uh, and our guys got older um, and don't have the same same sting that we used to have. But you know now it's you know a young team, Nicolas Puran and, and Co. and all the other teams they they have a method mm. of of play. You know, um, and it's not only six hitting now, mm. the ability to rotate, strike as well, and. Um, England and and the and India and the other teams have done it. Uh, uh, Pakistan mm. have done it really well. Uh, you have seen uh, in the since India's inaugural you know triumph in 2007 World Cup. Mm. India has played uh, surprisingly very conservative cricket. And there has been criticism over the years. Mm. Now suddenly there is a change in approach. They have embraced the criticism. They, how do you look at this phenomenon? Yeah, and it's the same thing I said. Uh, mm. Uh, every you have the apps on your phone and you have to keep updating it. So mm. maybe when they won, mm. you know that method was was okay. Mm. But when you have teams who are capable of hitting boundaries, mm. the chances of them scoring quicker than you will always happen. When you uh, will always be better mm. when you as a team looking to consolidate and then go big in the end because. You 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 set yourself back. You consolidate too much. Supposing the people consolidating don't get out, mm. um, they get out. Then you have two new batters coming in, and they have to start the inning as well. So they're always under pressure. Unlike if you go hard uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the bowlers and try to put them under pressure early, and if you lose wickets in the middle, you are so high above the rate mm -hmm. that you could consolidate then, mm -hmm. and that's what um, that's the way. Rich Sharma, I see uh, in the the changing that now, and they have the personnel to actually do it. So um, it will be interesting to see how it goes in the in the, in this year's World Cup in Australia. Since you have just mentioned Rohit Sharma, just purely from leadership point of view, for a moment forget what kind of batsman he is. From outside, your little interaction with him, how do you look at Rohit Sharma model of leadership? I've always I've spoken about it plenty times. You know, I love the way he captains. That's why uh, Mumbai Indians been. One of the most successful IPL franchise with him as as the captain. You know he is not a him first. I think he's a, a team team first type of captain. And when you have a, a leader that could motivate men, mm. and it doesn't matter who does the job for the team, mm. the team comes first. And I Rohit Sharma comes across um, like that to me. Since you just mentioned that it's not about only captains and leader of men, so how different is is cricketing leadership is similar like the leadership leadership in general life? Do you differentiate between these two, or these are two integrated? I think like I could speak from experience. Yeah. Uh, cricket has taught me a lot about life. Mm -hmm. Leadership has also taught me about life. You know, as a a man who has a family. Are yeah, you lead? Yeah, it's intertwined, <laughs> you know. But sometimes you have to be able to differentiate. You not being on the field compared to when you are at home, you know. Because on the field, our captain is always shouting, trying to get the information, the uh, the attention of the players. But um, 
when you're at home, sometimes my wife have to say, hey, you're not on the cricket field because I find myself, you play noise and you keep elevating your voice. So um, it's just one area, but you know, the basic principle of leadership, cricket prepares you for life, actually. So in that sense, I just wanted to know, do you find that leading a West Indian side or leading an Indian side is quite similar because you have to lead a complex kind of society, people coming from different regions, different terraces, different islands, many countries. Similarly in India, even if it's a one country, people coming from different states, different tests, language. So is the challenge is even higher for a, for a captain who is leading either a West Indian side or an Indian side? Um, I think being a captain on its own is it's challenging. I think the ability the way you manage that challenge, the way you manage leading the, your men, you know, I think lead, a big part of leadership is man management. Mm. You know, because everybody comes in the squad full of talent, uh, willing to do do well for for the country, and it is your job to put that together and keep them motivated, and create a, 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 an environment that wants or breeds success. Okay, uh, now you are also coach, uh, wearing the coach hat and you have been an all-rounder. Do you still think this, this T20 format is more for more skillful players like bad and all-rounder, six hitting? What is your thought on that? No, I think there's a, uh, you have different roles in different teams. You know, you do need specialist mm. bowlers. You need, I think a T20 team need at least three bowlers mm. that could bowl in the dead overs. Mm. And three bowlers that could bowl you in the power play. So three of these bowlers could bowl you in the death, mm. and three could bowl you in the power play. You need that options because when you have only two, it's a lot of pressure on two individuals to keep bringing back or being a hero in the back end of the inning or setting up the game for you. And um, uh, there, you will see your all rounders come in five, six, seven, which is your finishers. Um, if they could bowl and bat, it is always good. So after you have those four specialist bowlers in your lineup, mm -hmm. uh, some teams are fortunate that mm -hmm. they both guys are equally mm -hmm. capable with both bat and ball. That's a plus. But I think whether you equally capable or not, you need to be a specialist in, especially with the ball, because bowlers win you tournaments. Batters win you games, but I mm -hmm. believe bowlers win you tournaments. Now, now the one bouncer from me. Do you <laughs> think that India has, uh, does have the wherewithal to win this uh, World Cup? Look, in any format, especially T20s, you must call India's name. Mm. India, they have the mecca of, of, of T20 franchise. Um, the way they keep producing T20 guys. Um, but you go into Australia, where the wickets are much bon bon bonksier and the boundaries are much, the square boundaries are much bigger, you know, um, and it will be a challenge, but you could never count out India in any T20 tournament. Thank you so much, Dan Sami. Lovely channel. My pleasure. Thanks my a lot. pleasure. Anything for your Indian fans? Yeah, you well, you in know, Hindi? listen, in Hindi, yeah? you have to tell me. How do I tell them? Well, you know. Whatever little words you have, you haven't spent enough time. Maybe it's, you will been, get, it's been since 2016 I've not been to, I've not been to India. So maybe tell me, how do I tell them? Keep supporting. Yes, uh, we support karte raho. Hame support Katero. Hame yeah. <laughs> support Katero. India, West Indies. You know, you guys support West Indies. Second favorite team. I know that. All right? Thank you so Take much. Care. Thank you, David. <laughs>